Uh, yes, um, along with uh, the personal things that we have done to ruin our health, there's also our environmental factors, mm -hmm. and a lot of those uh, come from coal plants. Yet we have 150 new coal plants on board here to be built in the United States very shortly, including three here in Iowa, one in Waterloo, one in Marshalltown, and one in Council Bluffs. Would you have a plan to cap the emissions of these coal plants, which are really ruining our, our health? I think that it's not just the coal plants. There are a lot of environmental factors that I think we should work on. For example, we should build communities with sidewalks and green space and encourage people to be pedestrians and not just motors. Uh, we ought to be looking at the forms of energy that, that are not carbon producing. Uh, here in Iowa, I visited a plant, for example, that uses hydrogen, uh, which only releases water. It's an incredibly efficient, uh, amazingly effective way to produce energy and with ammonia based hydrogen it doesn't have to be a hydrogen cell which right now is in really a rather primitive state of development uh, nuclear energy so a lot of people are scared of that but it, quite frankly it's one of the most efficient and and truly safe ways that's why france provides nearly every bit of its power and france is not exactly a nation that's known to be um, you know what i call risky when it comes to to those types of uh, endeavors but nearly all the electricity in france is powered by uh, by nuclear energy. So there, there are ways in which we can we change it, but some of it has to be the will to do it. Getting us off of fossil fuels is critical. We ought to be setting that as a 10-year goal, not a 50 or 25-year goal, not only because of the environmental factors, but because of the renewability factors and the sustainability factors as well. So yes, environment plays a very important role. It goes to the issue of the atmospheric changes that we have around us, and I think that's you know, a very valid point.